The next thing I would like to uh, talk about is uh, uh, representation of, of two ports or multiple, I mean or a multi port uh, using uh, the scattering parameters and uh, the reason why uh, they are important. As we have seen uh, yesterday, uh, you know trying to measure uh, either the uh, impedance or the admittance parameters means that you need to terminate uh, an amplifier or uh, whatever you are trying to measure with open or short circuits. And as we have already seen, you know the notion of uh, perfect short does not exist, okay, because the length of the transmission line connecting the output port of the of the device under test, okay. So basically, let's say you have uh, is often called the dot device under test, and uh, for example, if you wanted to measure the uh, the admittance, you would technically have a transmission line. And then you would attempt to terminate this with a short circuit. But even though this is a short circuit, as we have already uh, seen uh, uh, at great length, the impedance that the device under test sees is not a short, it can go from anything which is a short circuit to anything which is an open circuit. So, the impedance here, as we have seen, uh, you know, uh, if I plot the magnitude of the reactance, it basically uh, it basically does uh, not the magnitude if I plot the reactance it basically does uh, something like this. It goes from looking like a short to an open and then again uh, 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 open to a short and uh, and so on okay because it follows that you know whatever tan, uh, tan omega times uh, uh, Td okay. So, uh, you can think of this therefore as uh, I mean if you see an impedance which uh, which is an open circuit you know uh, can you think of a simple impedance which becomes an open circuit at a certain frequency pardon a parallel lc network uh, can you think of a network be that becomes a you know a short at uh, a certain frequency a series lc network so you can think of this uh, uh, this transmission line terminated with a short circuit as a combination as a combination of whole bunch of parallel LC and uh, parallel and series LC networks okay. So, uh, and because the extent of the transmission line is infinite you have an infinite number of such networks right. The order of the network is actually infinite because the transmission line as you can see is made with in I mean you can think of it as infinite similarly many infinitely many infinite simul uh, L's and and C's okay. So, in other words this network is uh, a high order frequency selective network all right and uh, likewise The source which needs to be connected here, uh, it also basically as far as the uh, you think that you have a short circuit, uh, but because of the length of the transmission line this also looks like a high order frequency selective network, right. And if the device under test for example, uh, is uh, has got some y parameters y 1 1, y 1 2, y 2 1 and y 2 2 okay. Uh, what comment can we make about uh, 
uh, the gain of uh, the network. We have all seen this in analog electronics, right? Why Y12 basically quantifies Y12? It quantifies the feedback that is inherent inside that device under test, right? If you are in a transistor, you know that. The, uh, the gate drain capacitance basically results in a finite Y12. Likewise, in a bipolar transistor, the collector base capacitance results in a non zero uh, Y12. Okay. So, Y12 represents uh, 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 you know feedback inside the device, right. It could, be, it could be an amplifier if you have you know a big amplifier, then you are sure, I mean, you will have. Uh, uh, it will have its own Y12, but is but it's all eventually boils down to uh, you know reverse transmission within uh, an active device, okay. And uh, if you remember your uh, analog electronics class uh, 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 you know, from many years ago, uh, you know that the transfer function will will uh, be you know will will be you know some complicated formula in the numerator divided by what what do you have in the denominator? 1 minus I mean why did we say when we derived the, you know what the transistors y parameters must be we said the, you know, remember that denominator was y11 plus ys times you know y22 plus yl right minus y12 y21 and there is some numerator on top right okay and we said whenever we have an active network and i mean uh, 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 we wanted our device to have y12 equal to 0 if not what would happen yeah so basically uh, you know y12 uh, is uh, uh, is represents feedback and uh, so intuitively what you can think of is that well you excite this network well it puts out uh, uh, it, uh, it for instance injects uh, say uh, some current here. Now, that current is basically uh, is amplified by some block which is very highly uh, a high order network right which is also very frequency selective and some part of it is fed back right and uh, so therefore, if you think of uh, the loop gain you can think of it as being proportional to this quantity y12 times y uh, y21 times whatever you know uh, impedance that you see here okay so uh, it's uh, we'll continue in the next class but it's uh, easy to see that this feedback system will have is a high order loop gain right with multiple poles and uh, uh, in principle you know a gain which can go to infinity because the load is because the load can become at some frequencies can become an open circuit in some frequencies uh, you know is a short and does all sorts of strange things. So, if you have a loop gain function which a high order loop gain function with uh, 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 with the high gain what comment can you make about such a feedback system? I mean likely to go unstable is an understatement right in, uh, in all prob probability it will be it will be unstable right. So, when people try to measure you know say uh, active devices uh, you know uh, try at uh, uh, at high frequencies uh, uh, and uh, try to uh, you know kind of use cables and then say okay i'm going to short the end of the cable uh, they found out that oh well all their transistors are uh, the whole system is oscillating right sometimes things are dangerous because the oscillation amplitude can become so large that there's a lot of heat is uh, generated in the in the device and the device burns up right so uh, trying to terminate uh, uh, the uh, transmission line with with a uh, shorter and open circuit is basically a recipe for disaster right okay